With growing international appeal, Toya moved to London recently and landed her first chart position outside South Africa with the hit My City. I'm headed to meet Toya DeLazy in studio and sometimes when you're in an unfamiliar city like London, you might get lost. But with Vodacom Travel Saver, I'm always conveniently connected and that never happens to me. I know exactly where I'm headed. Having received a location pin via her Vodacom roaming, Roxy was right on time for the recording at the highly rated Resident Studios in London. In songs like Why Hate, Toya has become known for her social commentary. She's toured the US, Europe and the Far East, growing her sound, influences and subject matter. So exciting that you're in London. How has the city influenced your recording process? I feel like it's a new breath, the fresh air, I love the style in London, the freedom, the vibe and you know just being in a different space. I don't see any Londoners though in London, which is really funny, like everyone's from everywhere, um, it's very diverse and for me that's the catalyst uh, that I need when I'm making music, like it's for diversity, for a lot of different people and yeah, I'm loving that. What can we expect from your new music? The new single was written in Cape Town while I was still there and I've just like expanded more of it and it's more nostalgic if I could put it that way so it's going to embrace a lot of where I'm from, where I started in music and I think it's going to be an international introduction for me. How do you prepare creatively before you get into the booth? Okay so basically it has to be something I care about like I can't like sit down and say I'm going to write a song today I have to feel it it needs to be something I want to talk about and I get a melody and then I start writing about it and as soon as it becomes a song, like I've got a verse, I've got a chorus, only then do I come to studio, you know, and it's all about uh, feelings and moments. I think you're an incredibly authentic performer and artist. Do you think that that's what your fans love about you, your vulnerability? I'd say that fans in general, like people that listen to music, appreciate honesty, appreciate something that they can identify with. I, I feel that they like that. They like the stories that I tell. Um, I think they like the beats, they like the, the lyrics as well. So, yeah, I think, I, oh, I hope they do, they better. <laughs> what about, what about you? You have so much experience. Do you feel privileged that you're able to share that and mentor people? I feel like I've had a lot of experience and like a lot of people and I'm humbled by it look up to me uh, because of everything that I've done. Um, I mean from the Apollo Theatre to the BETs to um, I've done a lot of things so right now I feel I feel like I can be a producer and and I'm glad to have the opportunity to actually expose uh, female hip-hop and talent in South Africa. As a producer she's launching the new album this month for rap group The Clutch Collective. And as an influential artist in her own right, Toya made quite a stir at London Fashion Week. With her new video on playlists across clubs in the UK, she's becoming known for her style as much as her music. And she does have a distinct look in this Tosa knitwear with faux fur trim by Laduma Ngogolo. I am not surprised that I found all the street style photographers snapping away at you at London Fashion Week. You are a trailblazer when it comes to fashion. Are you here to set trends or are you here to find them? Well, it's a bit of both because um, there's a lot of crazy fashion out here as well. And as much as I'm going to set my own trends, I want to see what's out here. Lots of oversized styles, lots of colours. So yeah, it's a matter of just checking out what's out here and kind of like mixing it with what I have. How would you describe your personal style? Uh, my style is a mix, eh? Like I like streetwear and I also like classic wear. Um, so it's hard to actually like corner it into one thing. So I like different pieces from different artists and yeah, I just put it together. And tell me about this outfit. So yeah, the suit I'm wearing I bought at a boutique in London. I feel like it's majestic and it's contrast when it comes to the shoes which are more streetwear. So I, I threw some coarser patterns on top, you know. And yeah, I think I look good. What do you think? I think you look what good. What do you think? Believe me, you don't have to get any confirmation from me. I know you look good. Yeah. Amongst the exciting work on show, with hints of a colourful African influence, the collection that caught Toya's eye was by Obscure Rebellion. It's a label created just two years ago by Melita Herodine and Mignon oh. Dekiem. So is this something that you see yourself wearing? Yeah. Is this your style? I mean, this is definitely something I'd wear. 
For instance, look at this jacket, darling. Look at this jacket. That is pretty cool. It's dramatic. I mm. feel like you are quite a dramatic person. More okay. than that, it's unconventional. I think that's what I like about this range, actually. It's, it's strong, it's bold. The material's really nice. Everything's like neat, but at the same time, it's still streetwear. And another piece that I really love is this one. That's very cool. Look at the buttons. Oh, I feel like I could touch this all day long. Yeah. Stroke it. It's like got this punkness to it. Like I've always liked that rock star effect. Hello. Hello. Hey. Anything. Miana, are you the designer behind this beautiful collection? I am the designer of Obscure Rebellion. They say that when you're designing clothing, you should have someone in mind. Was this the lady that you had in mind? I would say so, because, you know, in order to wear these clothes, you have to be bold, you have to be brave, you have to be able to, you know, explore style. And I think this is definitely our girl. <laughs> the very pertinent question when someone is shopping is, is this the one? This is the one. With her first UK single charting at number 20, there's a spring in this funky muso step. Managing her roaming with Vodacom Travel Saver, Roxy could share the thrill of a day with Toya DeLazy in London with everyone back home.